Since arriving in New York City, Tatiana, who came to the U.S. with her three children after Russia invaded Ukraine, has been joining rallies in support of Ukraine and political prisoners in her home country. Tatiana, who asked VOA not to use her last name, brought her two daughters to this rally. Anya, her middle child, drew a poster and a letter in which she apologizes for what Russia has done in Ukraine. I live in New York now because of what is happening in my country, because it invaded Ukraine. I am ashamed for my motherland. Tatiana has been in New York for a little over a month, but she never dreamed of coming to the U.S., and definitely not under these circumstances. I didn't want to come to the U.S. I never planned to leave even my city, let alone the country. But I just had to. Tatiana left St. Petersburg and entered the U.S. through the border with Mexico. Her oldest son recently turned 19 and had registered with Russia's military. Leaving was a way to save him from serving. Tatiana's husband had to stay in Russia. The pace of Russian arrivals to the U.S. more than doubled after the White House announced that war objectors would be eligible for asylum. Tatiana says conditions in Russia were dangerous and terrifying. When we came to an anti-war protest, it was scary. Police would grab everyone. I was crying, screaming, policemen grabbed me and my friend and took us to a police van. But I got lucky, an acquaintance who worked at special task police recognized me and freed me and my friend. I remember him shouting, get out of here, quick, he was later fired for doing this. Tatiana's children have been going to a New York school for just a couple of weeks. They are the only ones in their classes who speak Russian, but they have faced no bullying or problems. While the kids are in school, Tatiana is learning English. She plans to get a driver's license and a work authorization. She hopes to start her own business. She also hopes to receive official refugee status, even though she understands that the process, as well as finally reuniting with her husband, will likely take years. Despite hardships and sorrow, Tatiana says the U.S. feels free and welcoming. For Nina Vishnyova in New York, NRI's VOA News.